everything I'm doing, I'm trying to get down inside here. He's catching my whole hand and being able to pull it off because he's got his hand way up here behind his ear where I'm gonna begin to start to work and now I can't begin to start to work because there's a hand there. All right, let's work a little bit on um, defense for, for strangles and chokes, if you're Derek here. Okay, now, we're sitting up, obviously, so it's in an ideal situation for him, but we're doing this so he can see it. Generally, he'll be flat on his face. You know, his opponent will be on top of him trying to work something or have some kind of hooks in or something. They'll be in a real situation here. We're just going to show here like this so you can see better, you know, what to do, okay? All right, just a few things, and I'm going to let Donnie uh, do some things because I know he's really good at this. Um, uh, just a few things to remember. Always think about when you're down here, you've got to survive it, okay? I've got to survive this, okay? And so make your make your neck small. Make your... Make your you know, don't, don't get any targets here. So get your shoulders up and your neck, neck small and like this. Use your shoulders to roll them and defend as best you can, okay? Keep your head low and keep your chin down. Classic example, it's, well, that's easier said than done. Yeah, it is, but do it, okay? Keep your chin down. Uh, Don's gonna show you a good way that, I, I really like this too, about how he can intercept the arm. Because another thing we wanna do is, when I'm digging here, he wants to peel my hands away. He wants to get, and if I got my hooks in, he wants to peel my feet away too. And Don's going to show a way to kind of intercept that hand to actually peel it away with a good level of success, I think. So, so without further ado, go ahead and, if you would, show that. Okay. Yeah, you're the, you're the victim. Yeah, okay. you're the victim. Okay. When I, when, to begin with, when you start to choke, you're, you're trying to hit this jawbone and you're trying to work both hands at the same time on that jawbone so that it makes him want to lift his head up. Okay, it makes him want to come up because it hurts, right? So that you can start like way up here, just under his ear, you know, where that jawbone comes in like that, you start right up here. So to defend against that, if he's just got his hands sitting in here, I can still get in here on that jawbone and and get up here, okay? So when he rolls his shoulders up like that, makes it hard, and then I put my whole hand and my little finger behind my ear, so there's no place for me to even start to get my hand in. Now I work both sides. So if you got both hands up there, and sometimes you'll feel them work on one side, so you put it in there, and then you might shift over to the other side, or you keep him in. If he's got his hand there, it's nearly impossible for me to get down through here. So I'm going to work this well. If he got his, he has his hand there, and if I get my hand in, he's got my whole fingers, my whole hand, which is legal. You can't pull one finger at a time, and he can. Keep pull my hand off. So he's catching everything I'm doing. I'm trying to get down inside here. He's catching my whole hand and being able to pull it off because he's got his hand way up here behind his ear where I'm going to begin to start to work. And now I can't begin to start to work because there's a hand there. And I, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera but he's repositioning my hand more than a few times because I'm putting it flat like this, which he can still dig underneath. He's repositioning it so that it's more on an angle with my thumb touching my shoulder and my pinky touching my ear. And now it's literally putting like a, a plate in between there where he can't dig at any point. So you don't want to necessarily be right there like this. You want to be framed out like that. Right, that's exactly right. The hand will come all Right in here. I mean, the whole thing. Your thumb's on your shoulder, and you've rolled your shoulders up to make your neck small, and my little finger goes right behind my ear, like that, both sides. And again, we're seated here, you can, in a nice, you know, comfortable position that you're learning from, you're probably gonna be flat on your face, or he's gonna be on your back and controlling you and working for you. And this is the same whether you're going to go for a Hadaka Jume or a, a lapel type strike. It's the same 
principles, exactly. exact same stuff actually works. So no matter what the strangle or choke is from behind, this is, this is the best defense that we think works the best. Quite simple, but you know, it's, 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 it's brilliant actually, it's simplicity, it works. It, it saved a lot of guys from getting strangled or choked. Okay? So that's, that's pretty much it, there's no secret, just practice it a lot, actually. All right, let's get at it.